Hello and welcome to CSCART video tutorial. My name is Sergey and today I'm going to show you how to install and configure eBay synchronization add-on. Let's begin. It takes only three steps to install and configure eBay synchronization add-on. Step 1. Install eBay synchronization add-on. Step 2. Get the authorization keys. And step 3. Generate a user token. Let's proceed to the step 1. To install the add-on you need to go to add-ons, manage add-ons. Click browse all available add-ons button and find eBay synchronization add-on. After that click install and you will get a notification that you need a license number in order to make the add-on work. After that, find the add-on in the installed add-ons list. Click the name of the add-on and you will get to the settings. Choose License Info tab. Here you can either use the license number for the trial period or enter the license number for the full mode activation. After installing the add-on, you need to configure it by using the authorization keys and a user token. Also, the license number for the eBay add-on can be purchased at cscart.com eBay synchronization page. Step 2. How to acquire the authorization keys for your add-on. To properly configure the eBay synchronization add-on, you need to get the authorization keys at the eBay Developers Program website. Just go to go.developer.ebay.com and click Sign in, Join button. Register at the eBay Developers Program. After you have registered, you will get an access to the Application Keys page. First, you need to give a title to the application. By the way, the title of the application can differ from the name of your CSCART store. Next, you will be able to generate two key sets, sandbox keys, keys for the test API requests and production keys, keys for the real API requests. In the other words, for the live store, you can generate either one key set, sandbox or production, or both. Click Create a key set button to create either sandbox or production key set. After that, enter your personal data, including first name, last name, email, phone, and the type of the phone. Also, don't forget to specify what type of the account you have, individual or business. After the key set was created, you will get three keys application ID key, developer ID key, and certificate ID. Next, you will need to copy these keys and enter them into the corresponding fields of the eBay synchronization add-on settings. You can generate application keys anytime on the application keys page. Now it is time for the step 3. Generate a user token. Before leaving the settings page, you can choose the mode of the eBay synchronization add-on according to the IDs that you entered. Choose sandbox mode if you entered sandbox IDs and choose production mode if you entered production IDs. After that, you can either save the changes or leave the settings window open. Now go back to the application keys page and find user tokens button. Click the user tokens button to get to the user tokens page. Choose the application and the environment. Use sandbox environment for testing and production environment for actual sales. Big blue button will guide you to the eBay sign in page. You need to link a token to your eBay user account. Click the register button to create a new eBay user account. If you already have an account 
enter the credentials and press sign in. And remember that the eBay user account is not the developer account that you registered in the previous step. On the next page, you need to allow eBay to link your eBay account with your new application. Click I agree and you will be redirected to the next page. Also, don't forget to read the notes that drop down from the top of the page. They provide some useful information considering the API and tokens. Copy the user token and return to the eBay synchronization settings. Then enter the token into the eBay user token field and click save. After you have installed and configured your add-in, don't forget to activate it in the add-ins list. You can check if everything works fine by going to marketing and finding eBay subsection. It should contain eBay templates, logs and products. Let's revise the three steps. First. You install the add-in from the add-ins page of your CSCART admin panel. Second, you get the authorization keys at the eBay developers program website. And third, you get a user token from the application keys page by linking your eBay user account with your newly created application. Well, that's it. If you have any questions, you can ask them in the comment section below, on Facebook or Twitter. Thanks for watching.